What's going on, people? Zap here. And uh, what you're watching right now is my very first multiplayer match of Max Payne 3. Um, a lot of you were wondering if I was even going to get the game. And if I did decide to get it, would I be uploading any videos? Would I upload any commentaries? Would I give my own general thoughts on the game as a whole? And uh, here you go. Uh, but the only thing in this video is that I'm not really going to discuss too much about the single player because let's be perfectly honest here. This game right now is worth $60 for the single player alone. Uh, I'd actually would have paid $70 at the most just for the standard edition of Max Payne 3. Uh, just for the single player because it is that good. I'm not even, I haven't even scratched the surface of the single player. But I'm just really enjoying the storytelling, the narrative, uh, the way the cutscenes seamlessly blend into actual gameplay at times. And uh, just, the overall, just the overall character development that's going on and the story I find myself going from one checkpoint to another or one area of the stage to another just with this feeling of oh my god what's going to be behind this door what's going to happen next uh, you know I can't wait until I reach this point so that I can hit to another cutscene and learn more about the story you know and uh, it's always it's always been that way with the Max Payne series and I think that's where Rockstar Games really shines is because not just with Max Payne but with games like Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption uh, the storytelling has always been their strongest suit, and uh, their their multiplayer aspect has just been a little bit of a, an icing on the cake, or the cherry on top, I, sh I guess you could say. But <clears throat> definitely, the single player is well worth the money alone. And a lot of people have said that. I'm not going to be any different on this one. The single player is well worth the money in itself. All right. Now, for those of you guys out there who really only put forth your money into multiplayer games you know so you can have that replay value um this is where this is where one part of the review kind of changes a little bit uh multiplayer like i said is just icing on the cake but if you're gonna put that on there if you're gonna put multiplayer in your game it does kind of bring your your games uh value down a little bit because it is a part of the game so multiplayer takes Max Payne from being a potential 10 in my book to being around a uh, 8 in terms of score which isn't bad still but I'll go ahead and elaborate a little bit further on that for you um the controls by themselves are a little bit stiff a little clunky uh, a little bit a little bit murky and what I mean by that is uh, in games where you would normally rely on your quick reflexes, uh, the way that this game is set up and the way your character moves and the way your character aims and uh, everything everything incorporated with your standard standard multiplayer multiplayer gameplay, I should say, is a, a couple notches slower. It's a couple notches behind. Now, you will eventually get used to it with a few games played and adjusting your sensitivity settings. But, right out the box, uh, you'll notice that this game doesn't feel as smooth as games like Gears of War or ga games like Uncharted. And that's fine. Not every game needs to be the same. You know, not every game needs to play uh, on completely quick twitch reflexes like, let's say, Call of Duty or anything like that. But um, I was just hoping for much more stable controls and a better, uh, a better gameplay uh, mechanism in terms of character movement and aiming. Now, overall multiplayer in itself, let's see, there are a few game modes you can play, so you're not just stuck to playing free-for-all or team deathmatch, you know, there's like turf wars and stuff like that, where uh, you have to carry, not carry, but capture certain territory points and uh, keep them, keep them controlled, so it's pretty much like, like King of the Hill, alright, so, multiplayer modes, you're not just stuck, but in more than one case, it just sort of deteriorates into just mindless shooting around uh, based on the teams that you're playing. Like, you look around the battlefield, and it's just people running around straight shooting each other. And it just kind of it kind of takes away from the whole purpose and the whole objective and the sense of feeling as though you're playing an objective. You know what I mean? When you look around and you see everybody just circle strafing each other. And whatever. Um, another big problem that I have with the game 
and it's probably my biggest problem with the multiplayer it's just the sheer power of dual pistols dual pistols in this game is like using a freaking uh, battle rifle and uh, Halo it's definitely the go-to gun is the go-to gun so I think that the, the pistols need a bit of a nerf or if not um, just reduce their their range uh, so that it can't you can't be outgunned by an assault rifle by someone using a pistol I, too many times have I seen uh, people get outgunned by someone with dual pistols when they're when they're about 30 feet away and you're using an AK that's, that's not fair as a matter of fact in, in one part in this video look at that bullet time right there boss but uh, at one point in the game, you actually see me and another guy get gunned down by a guy with dual pistols in, in the span of like maybe two to three seconds. Like the guy didn't even have to reload. He just dropped us. And we were both using assault rifles. Mind you, it was still mid-range, mid to close range that he killed us in. But still, he shouldn't be able to drop us that quick. You know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, let's see. Aiming is solid, I guess. Uh, you know, you got your three different types of aim. You got your free aim, soft lock, hard lock. And those are pretty much like, okay, you pull the trigger and your reticle automatically takes target of uh, whatever is in front of you, you know, as far as the enemies go. So, and then uh, free aim is exactly what it says. Free aim, you aim as you wish when you pull the left trigger. And that's the end of it. Um, but it's not the worst multiplayer I've ever played. Uh, there is a lot of fun to be had when you get used to the bullet time and uh, how each gun should be used. Like you have to, sh you have to shoot your assault rifles like burst fire. You know? Otherwise, the bullets spread and you're not hitting anything from a range. So I do like that aspect of it. It doesn't feel like you can just sit back and hold the right trigger and just shoot people. It, it just it just doesn't feel right if it was that way, you know. But uh, yeah, man, fucking uh, Max Payne 3 overall is a really, really good game. The multiplayer could use a little bit of tweaking, but uh, overall, great game. Rockstar, you've definitely done it again. Um, what the hell was that? Oh, I landed on that pipe. But uh, Rockstar has done it again. They made it an amazing game. I love Max Payne 3. I didn't think I was. Uh, going to enjoy it because to be perfectly honest with you I did like Max Payne but I was always a fan of the Dead to Rights series I was always a bigger fan of Dead to Rights I'm sorry I know I betrayed a lot of you but I love Dead to Rights more than I love Max Payne but Max Payne is still a great franchise Max Payne 3 uh, a very very great addition to the uh, to the franchise and uh I can't wait. I can't wait to see what else they do with, uh, with not not just with this series, but with all their games. Rockstar, because Rockstar is an amazing, uh, amazing company. They put out great games all the time, and uh, I think that's what we're missing uh, in this day and age. It's just truly great games. So, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys enjoy Max Payne Three? Do you agree with anything that I said? Um, do you have anything you'd like to add on? Let me know what you guys' opinions are. Uh, I kind of just ran out of things to say. But, uh, yeah, just just let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'm not doing too bad for it being my very first multiplayer game, am I? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video. Peace. They've made it a personal beast.